let go of it and express it's all good. You're allowed to do it. You don't have to be a good boy all the time. Jesus Christ, what the fuck on any level whatsoever? Why is he spitting everywhere? What the fuck is even going on? I'm so confused. But we make it hard. Uh, uh, we make the belly hard. Uh, uh. Holy shit. Why does this dude's entire body look like a fucking erect penis? <laughs> what is he supposed to be? Some sort of fucking drill? Like, what is going on whatsoever? This guy is absolutely insane. Shut up, Levy. You wouldn't say that to him in person. He would beat your ass. Oh my god, really? I never thought about it that way. Oh wait, yes I did. No fucking shit, I wouldn't say that to him in person. He's a walking fucking steroid. This dude is a human-sized chicken nugget. He would fucking kill me in person. Uh, okay, well, then why are you saying it to him over the internet, huh? You big pussy. Because this dude is absolutely fucking insane, and on top of that, he can't touch me. No shame whatsoever here. <laughs> Looks like he's giving fucking birth to a goddamn demon child. <laughs> but what's up, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm your host here, middle-aged man trying to be relatable on fucking Twitter. So baby, if you wanna ready for my kiss, then you can wear my Jesus Christ. But as I was saying, welcome back everybody to a brand new video. So right off the bat, I want to introduce you guys to someone, okay? A very specific YouTuber, right? He's a great guy, really cool, he's a bodybuilder, and he's also a little bit, let's just say, uh, fucking insane. Anger and frustration and yelling and eating and breathing! But meet fucking Elliot Hulse, a YouTuber and a bodybuilder that is most known for having a half a million subscribers here on YouTube, uploading consistent and fantastic content, literally using steroids and alluding to the fact that you're an idiot if you don't use steroids as well. Steroids work like magic. They work really, really fast. You're gonna get real strong, you're gonna get real big in a very short period of time. Making some of the most cringe-worthy videos I've ever seen in my life. You've gotta give her a mini orgasm, right? What I mean is that you've got to get her to giggle. <laughs> and last but definitely not least, making motivational rants that make fucking zero sense. I don't want to fuck my wife. Wait, what? Did he just say he didn't want to fuck his wife? But anyways, since I've introduced you to the most motivational man on YouTube, Elliot fucking Hulse, today I thought we would watch one of his high quality motivational videos because shit, we all need some motivation, right? We all feel down at certain points in time in our life, right? Or, or am I the only one? No, but today, without further ado, we're going to be watching one of Elliot Hulse's fantastic motivational videos. So everybody sit back, relax, grab some popcorn, get ready to be fucking motivated, and let's play this fantastic shit. Pa 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 pa. Fucking motivate me, Elliot! Are you depressed? You find that you become depressed sometimes? Oh my god, that perfectly explains me. Shit. Do you find that you're depressing your energy? Do you find that everything that you know you are on the inside, sexual and sexy and hungry and happy? and angry <sighs> and sad. All those things don't count, they don't matter. You've gotta put them away so you depress them. Listen, I'm no psychiatrist, and I'm definitely not Dr. fucking Phil. But I think suppressing your emotions is probably not the best way of going about being depressed. But hey, that's just my opinion, what do I know? I'm not the one sitting in a gym yelling at a fucking camera, right? I've been depressed for the past several days. I've been teaching workshops. I've been building businesses and watching children and doing all the shit that I have to do and never letting out all the sexual synergy and hunger and anger and frustration and yelling and eating and breathing. Okay, time now. What is this fucking chicken nugget even talking about? Like, seriously, what the fuck at all? I haven't been eating or breathing. Motherfucker, yes, you have. What? Like, if you weren't eating or breathing, you'd be fucking dead. You wouldn't be sitting here in your gym yelling at a camera, all right? And side note, I love that little low-key humble brag he throws in there when he's explaining his life. Yeah, man, I've been feeling a little bit down. I've been spending all my time just running my business, making thousands and thousands of dollars, you know, fucking bitches, you know, really, really exhausting shit. We shouldn't be surprised, though, in all honesty. We're on YouTube.com. 
the home of the fucking egomaniacs. It seems like pretty much every motherfucker on this entire website has an ego the size of the Eiffel fucking tower. I mean, shit, I know that every single YouTuber isn't like that, but I mean, Keemstar really makes up for the ones that aren't. <laughs> Yeah, can we please stop? Anger and frustration and yelling and eating and breathing. Ah! Ah! Attend me. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Did he just say attend me in the middle of his little tantrum? Like, attend him to what? What is he even talking about? Was that like his little sense of reasoning at the back of his head that's still alive that wasn't killed off by the steroids? Just completely crying out for help? Like, seriously, what? What was that? He's just sitting there like, ah, 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 I don't want to fuck my wife. Uh, can someone please attend me? Like, seriously, jokes aside, what the fuck was that? Ah, 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 I don't want to fuck my wife because I'm sucking the sexual energy in. I don't want to train. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to fucking do anything because it's become a neurotic holding pattern because depression... Is Ugh, do you guys hear his lips slapping around? Straight up sounds like someone is slapping a penis against someone. Straight up sounds like someone's getting a dick imprint on their forehead. Mushroom stamping this shit. Like, it's just gross. I mean, not slapping your dick against someone's forehead. That's actually on my bucket list. I mean, shit, I really do want to dick stamp someone's forehead. Does that make me fucked in the head? Uh, yeah, you definitely have some psychological issues. Goddamn. ...is a holding pattern. You're holding yourself depressed. I'm holding it in. I'm holding in the energy. You've got to express. I've told you this before, but you've got to express. That's how you get out of depression. Yeah, sure, I don't disagree with you. you got to express yourself. But my question is, why are you expressing yourself like a fucking retard then? It begins with the breath. you got to breathe. Breathing brings energy into the body, brings vitality, vibration back into a dead fucking body. Because your body's not doing it, because your brain's doing it all. You're all trapped in your goddamn head. And you gotta wake the body back up. Wake the body back up. And you do it by expanding the chest open. This guy seriously has some deep-rooted fucking hardcore psychological issues, my god. Like, dude, everybody feels like shit every now and then, but not everybody has to open up their chest and act like a fucking retard. Like, dude, you're a grown man, what are you fucking doing? I don't know if I'm the only one, but I'm getting a little bit uncomfortable watching this, what the fuck? Breathe erratically, open the chest. This is where your heart is. This is where you love. Animals close their hearts, they hold down. Animals as human beings, we open up, we open up the heart. We open it up and we stand up and you can see it, it's soft. It's supposed to be soft, but we make it hard. We make the belly hard. But you've got to soften it so that your heart can open up, so that your sex can open up, so that your expression... Oh my god, this guy is seriously fucking insane, shit! And side note, by the way, love does not come from your heart. Your heart pumps blood. It doesn't pump love, it doesn't pump fucking sex, it pumps fucking blood, alright? They like to say fucking vibrant. They like to say vibrant on TV. They like to say vibrant in commercials where they sell you pills. But the people in the commercials don't vibrate. They're stiff. They're stuck. The people on TV are stiff and stuck. That's ironic coming from this guy. He looks like the stiffest motherfucker I've ever seen in my entire life. Like this dude's whole entire body looks like a drumstick that you left outside for too long. Stiff, hard, and fucking angry. Neurotic holding patterns. But you're gonna let go because they're gonna sh sh shake all the shit out. Just sh shake the motherfucker out. Shake it out. Shake it out. I don't know what he's trying to shake out, but I can guarantee you guys nothing is being shaked out. Except for his fucking dignity after uploading this video. Like, what do you say to the girl you like when she shows you this video and asks, Is this fucking you? What the fuck? Go in your room like me. Go where there's no one else and shake your shit. Shake your shit. Shake your balls. Breathe. And then ground. 
Yeah, guys, if you're feeling like shit, just go into your room and start acting like a fucking gorilla. You'll feel great afterwards, trust me. Oh, oh, deeper sounds go deeper into your body. The deeper the sound, the closer to your balls it is. The higher your sound, the higher it is in your throat, the more of a whiny son of a bitch you are! Well, shit, you hear that? If you have a higher pitch voice, you're fucked. You're just gonna be a whiny bitch for the rest of your life. Rest in peace. <sighs> You don't have to choose to hold the depression. Let go of it. Yeah, because that makes perfect fucking sense. Oh, so you've been struggling with depression for the past eight years of your life? Well, have you ever considered just letting it go like a paper fucking airplane? Yeah, of course it works like that. You fucking mug. Let go of it. And express it's all good. You're allowed to do it. You don't have to be a good boy all the time. Ha! Ha 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 You're allowed to let go. <laughs> If this was a movie, this is the part where they fucking shoot him. Because at this point in time, he's fallen victim to the zombie virus. And that's not even a fucking joke. He's definitely fallen victim to something. I have no idea what, but this guy <laughs> is honestly fucking insane. Be free. Elliot said, What? And that's it. That's the end of his fucking motivational rant. If you have depression, let it go, pussy. And then just blurts out, be free. And that's it. That's the fucking end of the video. Play this stupid AIDS outro. What? But in conclusion today, guys, if you have depression, just let it go. If your girlfriend cheated on you with 20 other people, just let it go. If you want to quit smoking, just let it go. If you literally have fucking cancer, just let it go. If you're on a plane and it gets hijacked by ISIS, just let it go. And if you feel alone and you feel like no one's there by your side, just let it go. And also don't forget to shake it out. Fucking case closed. <laughs> This is a mental disorder and it needs to be stopped. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video today and if you did, dude, it's your lucky day. Because not only will you be supporting me and defending me against the people that are still mad that I made a joke about their lord and savior, fucking this guy. Pepper Keemstar. <laughs> <laughs> But on top of that, if you leave a like on today's video, you no joke and no scam at all will be receiving your very own fucking Pokemon. That's not a scam at all. As soon as you like this video, a Pokeball will appear in your butthole. This is not a scam. Try it yourself. Again, I am a man of my word. It will happen. Fucking trust me, this isn't a scam. No, but seriously, thank you so much for all the support recently, guys. I can't thank you guys enough. The growth on this channel has been honestly fucking insane. So thank you so much. I hope you guys are having a great day today. And peace out, guys. See ya.